What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing a day in the life video for you. Never done one of those before. Um, I don't work today. For those of you wondering, I do work at a supplement store. Um, but we have a day off today, so I decided to pick up the pick up the camera. Jeez, that was a struggle. Pick up the camera and uh, record a bit of a day in the life video for you. So, it is currently almost 11 a.m bit late to the morning um, and slept in a little bit but um, yeah I'll show you guys what I take in terms of supplements um, what I eat throughout the day and uh, my workout session later on so yeah here we go so in terms of supplements we've got yeah flip this guy around we have our probiotics um, digestive enzymes our vitamin C Magnum fixation. This guy's to help with joint care, multivitamins, and we've also got Hard Muscle Builder by Magnum as well. And then we've also got the Essential Greens. I always take these year round without fail. I don't just have a regular green shake, I actually I like to add some things to it, spice it up a little bit. Um, show you guys what I do for that. Now time for the actual meal. So we're gonna be doing 2.5 ounces of cream of wheat. I usually enjoy cream of rice a little bit more, but every store in London does not carry that except for one, um, and that seems to be Loblaws. But every time I go there, they're sold out. So yeah, we've been doing cream of wheat for the last little bit. Um, 2.5 ounces of cream of wheat, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and two whole eggs. for the egg lubrication, if you will. Uh, here's my boy Matthew, cooking up his breakfast too. He's yes, sir. What do you have on the menu today, um, buddy? Christopher's special bagel with some peanut butter. Oh, <clears throat> oh man, my voice. <laughs> Pretty good, because we don't have any oats. So. We do have oats, you just have to look for them. What is this? Oh. What is that, Matthew? Yeah, we don't. That looks like freaking oats. That's cat. Matthew? What? Look at me. And that's that, 2.5 ounces of cream of wheat, one tablespoon of peanut butter, two whole eggs, and a serving of Magnum Green. All right, what's up, guys? We are now going to the grocery store. Um, just driving there now, and uh, we'll check in with you guys when we're there. All right, guys, so we just pulled up to Walmart. Um, I don't think they're gonna let us film inside, so, I'm just gonna go in, grab the stuff, and I'll show you what we get afterwards. So, yeah. Get just got back from the store. Um, gonna put these groceries away and probably cook up some food because I'm running quite low on food right now. So, here we go. <laughs> Guys, so this is what we picked up. Picked up some strawberries, chicken, beef, um, some rice here, eggs, bagels. These are the maple French toast ones. Pretty sick. We also got some spring mix, some lemons, and some peanut butter. We already got a lot of the other stuff, so um, this was basically just a little top up to last me for another week. Um, other than that, got everything else so time to get cooking I usually use um, the maple bacon seasoning that's my favorite and typically do a full pack of chicken at one time just saves time just put the rest in the fridge and you know eat it meal by meal so this is the chicken all seasoned up I usually I usually cook it at about 390 for roughly uh, 35, 40 minutes, just till whenever it looks nice and crispy. But uh, yeah, you can toss that in the oven, start on the beef, and probably put the rice in the rice cooker a bit later while I'm at the gym. So yeah, we've got 
two scoops of the new Quattro Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Unreal, just came out like a week ago or something. And I've also got two or one cup of oats. So one cup of oats, two scoops of Quattro and one cup of fruit. So I've got strawberries and bananas in there. And uh, yeah, gonna add some pink salt to it as well. So we got that meal down. Now we are gonna make the beef quickly just before we go to the gym. Um, I usually use this seasoning here with my beef. It is unreal. It literally makes it taste like almost like a burger. Not quite, but you know, it does the trick. We're gonna cook this whole package here, put the rest in the fridge. Got the pan all greased up with the, uh, you know, the avocado oil. Chicken is ready now too. Yeah, I already showed you guys that, but yeah, that's the chicken. And uh, yeah, that's about it for now. So, food is already done cooking. Um, we've got the beef here, Ooh. chicken, and the rice is already done as well. Um, so we're about an hour away from the workout now. Um, gonna have the pre-workout meal, which consists of these bagels. So I'll have one of those, some strawberry jam, and two scoops of protein. Um, yeah, and then after the workout, I'll have five ounces of beef with 240 grams of jasmine rice with one tablespoon of olive oil and some mixed greens and then i will have five ounces of chicken 160 grams of rice and some mixed greens and some coconut oil a tablespoon to be exact and then for my final meal i will have uh, a cup of Greek yogurt with a tablespoon of peanut butter. So yeah, let's get this pre-workout meal done and we'll be off to the gym. Sideways, 
back in like this. And let's get to it. So now we're moving on to the incline hammer strength press. I'm going to be doing about three sets of those, gradually going up in weight, aiming for about eight to ten reps every set. So, yeah. seconds on the way up so the eccentric part of the movement and one to two seconds on the contraction so yeah essentially pull the cables with the outside so bring it in like this and you can really squeeze the chest more so the upper chest with this one so give it a try bench on the lowest incline possible so you're really gonna like you're gonna start at the bottom with the dumbbells pressed together um, preferably hands in the middle of the dumbbell you come down real slow and you're gonna press up and closer towards your chin really squeeze the upper chest right in here and you're gonna come down slow again and keep constant tension on the muscle so let's get into it Basically, 
keeping your elbows higher than your wrists and pulling with your elbows. So you really squeeze and focus on that rear delta. before but in my plan it says a shoulder press so it's a shoulder press of some kind and we're gonna give it a try and keep constant tension the whole time slow on the way down relatively slow a little bit faster on the way up so here we go Hope you learned a couple things and uh, yeah, planning on uploading a lot more frequently within the next coming months and um, yeah, see you guys soon.